working on a parking lot for the upcoming ATC PDC permaculture design course and appropriate technologies course that's coming up and we're gonna make some room out here for parking cars and working on future classes so we call this parking lot we call it Arrakis <laughs> he, he knows why <laughs> so uh, there's actually a sign over there that says Arrakis but the Sun got to it now it doesn't show up as good so we gotta we gotta make some better signs but um, this will probably be the biggest group we've had here and they're gonna need places to park um, and on top of that when we do the innovators event the rocket mass heater workshop jamboree this fall then a lot of times what happens is there'll be cars parked on the sides and then it'll leave this huge area in the middle and then they'll do a lot of the innovations and stuff out here uh, in the middle of the parking lot mm -hmm. and the turtle lot needs some help too but we might save that for another day okay well that sounds great I'm, I'm having a great time the scenery is beautiful the couldn't be better so Julianne already has an excellent video of uh, me talking about the berms yeah and it's like how it's a, a, a huge horticultural boon but apparently the people of YouTube you know they're not as interested in that they're as very they're very finicky about their likes and dislikes so um, but one of the big things to say about having a berm is that uh, you have more privacy which you know a lot of homesteaders are seriously struggling where they're trying to like uh, there's one homesteader out on Orcas Island where he had a goat shed and it turned into like this three-year legal battle about his goat shed and it's just a crappy little shed and um and but if he'd had a big berm there then that would have been the end of it there would have been no three-year legal battle and so ounce of prevention and all that so by having the berms we have more spaces where we can plant stuff that is not in the parking lot and we have something that's effectively much like a fence uh, and we have a lot more privacy and so when we do interesting things then um, there won't be a, a three-year long lawsuit generated from it because they all start with somebody observing something mistakenly uh, it's like Joel Salatin's thing where a woman drove by one of his fields and saw cows so she called the Department of Making You Sad who came out and so Joel Salatin had to spend three days justifying cows on his field to some department three days joel salatin and so oh, what a waste of time a berm helps to make it quieter a berm helps to uh i i think the the best horticultural stuff features a berm or a culture bed um and and tall six 12 feet tall taller the better yeah and uh, and i think in this case what we're going to do is build up the um, the berms on the sides and and then also uh, use material from the parking lot to help lower the parking lot and build the berms um, and so we kind of you know twofer the thing I'm the most excited about is for me in, in my environment is is a, a wind block but for me more is the snow just a, 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 s a snow fence to when that wind is blowing in that it, it, it'll catch that snow and I won't end up with these monster piles of snow against cabins and barns and sheds.